Hello everybody! Today I want to tell you a few words about the fantastic TV series. Very authentic broadcast, I must say. They even show you genuine alien hairstyles. Ancient aliens. So, as I've covered many times in my videos, hiding the truth about our past is essential for those who keep us anchored in the current paradigm. And then the question arises, since they own the mass media completely, why would they allow broadcasts like Ancient Aliens, where they show you some of the artifacts that I've been showing in my videos, and where they openly question the mainstream history. Actually, they don't care in which history exactly you believe, mainstream or alternative, as long as you stay anchored in the paradigm they offer. And what the ancient alien TV show does is show you all the controversial artifacts and then using flawed logic, at the end they made, make you believe in the same nonsense for which the mainstream history campaigns. It's a standard procedure in that show to present an artifact or historic sites which openly contradicts the main history, and then the standard mantra would be, but people in those times were backwards, it was far above them to create anything like this, so it must be aliens. Come on, this is childish. How would we know for sure that indeed people were surely backwards in those times? And how do we know that it was exactly those times? Both these assumptions were simply taken from the mainstream history. That's what ancient aliens is teaching us, even though we see controversial artifacts and sites which clearly expose the mainstream lies of the historians to still remain gullible and believe in only 90% of what they are telling us, okay, 10% is lie, but the rest must be true, because, you see, everybody believes in it, just there is no other way. So the real purpose of the ancient aliens show is this, they know that there always will be some group of people who will doubt the mainstream lies. So the ancient aliens is just a trap that, okay, you don't believe the mainstream lies, but you just believe 90% of them. And mainly, you have to believe that you are a monkey, your essence is a monkey, you are dumb, the human race has always been dumb, except now, when we have high-tech gadgets, just look at their, their snouts, they look as if they have crawled from hell just yesterday, they pollute the environment, they enslave humanity, but you have to think that there are only two choices to either be a dumb Stone Age monkey, or the only other alternative is to be advanced, and that can be only by accepting this hellish technology. And as long as you are anchored in this deceptive paradigm that these are the only two choices on the table, you can believe in any history you want. They are okay with that. You are deceived and you are not inquiring into the clean, non-devilish technologies. Actually, most people nowadays are so deep in the swamp of deception that they don't understand what is even clean technology. This is not an eco-friendly car because it feeds off electricity which most likely originates from a pollution-spitting power plant. We don't need these poison-spitting monsters. We have technologies like, for example, the star batteries technology, which can produce free electricity in any circumstances without the need of being wired to any power plant or to use any fuel. But people will never even hear about the star batteries until they don't stop voluntarily feeding with their tax money agencies like BBC and Fox News. Now let's see what is Asian Aliens all about officially. 
Aha, so the aliens appeared in the past. Will they appear in the future? And prepare ourselves for future encounters. Indeed, they have put it in plain sight, their actual agenda, to distract us from the main point that aliens are very actively taking part in the affairs of the human society right now. What about the countless uh, people who took out tangible malevolent implants from their bodies? Easily call them crazy. Then what about uh, the law of court? Then uh, anybody's evidence can be just denied and say that the person is crazy, no? Since when the testimonials of honorable and uh, very respectable citizens have no meaning at all, despite their substantial number? Probably somebody would object me at this point and say that, wait a minute, the ancient alien uh, guys, they themselves don't deny that aliens are here now as well, even in some cases if cases I've heard them um, do excellent reporting on current cases like for example in India. People of entire villages were attacked and hurt, burnt, terrible wounds. But even after making this type of reports the ancient alien guys will continue with their old song same flawed logic Yes, and so the conclusion of everything is that the ancient, the aliens are ancient. And because most people have lost the ability of critical and logical thinking, they just hear something and don't, they don't understand very well, they hear only the conclusion and they accept it because they see some contradictory artifacts and assume that the rest must be truth. And while it is actually true that in the ancient times aliens interacted with humans very actively, when this is used to distract us from the more important point about how the aliens interact now with the human society, which is much more important, when it is used in such a way, well, I don't know, truth or it borders kind of deception for me. So sometimes in the ancient aliens show, they show excellent material, I can't deny it. They do good work in terms of presenting the artifacts and sites. I'm not talking about the philosophy that they attach to them. Yet other times they really don't bother doing even basic homework and preparation for their show. They present very poorly researched materials. I mean, with two or three hours simple research on internet, they can find much more relevant stuff than what they present. But, uh, and, and uh, it's not that they don't have the resources to do it. Their show is worth many, many millions. So sometimes they present really poor material. I don't know if it is on purpose or they just don't care, but the result is, of course, they are debunked because it's a famous show. And most importantly, during that debunking, the alternative history researchers are made to look like fools, all of them. For example, if I try to discuss um, anything about ancient uh, history with uh, people who are not really into it, if I just touch some sort of topic, immediately they're preloaded with ideas very similar to those from the ancient aliens. In other words, ideas about what alternative research should be, which have been implanted in them by the non-alternative, uh, because it's the mainstream media which... Uh, finances and controls ancient aliens. And the people are so preloaded with these misconceptions that it is um, actually impossible to even talk to them about, for example, my findings because they are already convinced that they should be like the ancient aliens stuff. On the ancient aliens show there is a clear tendency to desperately try to prove that any masterpiece or uh, 
Any wonderful creation is older than mainstream history, or at least that much old. I've never heard them try to prove that something is actually more recent than we are told. This clever tactic is, of course, adopted from the mainstream historians who also try to make the times when people were not centrally governed like robots and when they were free make them look far, far away like some dream, like something which is impossible now. In many previous videos I have proven and I have given references for those who wish to read books with written references that a lot of what is considered as ancient history actually happened within centuries from now. It is relatively very recent and it is artificially sent to the far, far away distant past only to endorse the paradigm of these ugly machines which will eventually culminate in an implant in your brain which will make you a robot. But the law of the universe is like this, that you have to accept the chip voluntarily. They don't have the right to put it by force in your head. And how you will be tricked to accept it is by all kinds of sophisticated license scams. And one of the illusions that will help you accept this implant in your brain will be this deep-rooted belief that this type of ugly spider technologies crawling straight from hell is the only way towards emancipation, towards technical progress, towards advanced life. No, that is not true. There are many other technologies, like based on sound and many others, but it seems the sound-based were particularly prevalent amongst our forefathers because the shamans, the magicians, in all continents, as we learn from the legends and the old books, they used magical words to accomplish tasks, to make objects which we cannot. And this is confirmed by the findings. We regularly find uh, creations that we cannot replicate. So it perfectly corresponds what we read in the legends and what we see. But instead of using their immense power by having so much audience, millions of people watch this uh, show, Ancient Aliens, they could inspire people to cultivate such powers themselves. Instead of that, what they do? They always try to find some sort of uh, parallel with the hellish, black snout looking technology and always try to reduce everything again to this denominator of this polluting technology. I mean, look at this one. Okay, maybe it has to be low because of uh, aerodynamic properties, but why does it have to look exactly like a cockroach? Black snouts, angry eyes, by putting forward only technocratic looking hypothesis as of the origin of advanced ancient artifacts and sites, people are made to voluntarily wear blinders and always look for solutions for everything in terms of more of these black machines. But if they take off the blinders, there is a whole magical world out there with countless possibilities to accomplish miracles without the nasty machines. And this is not some lost ancient civilization that got blown up 12,000 years ago. This is knowledge still kept by some tribal people in remote areas, mainly the Amazon jungle, but also Siberia, Africa, and even some Pacific islands. They can still cure sicknesses which the modern medicine, with all its expensive gadgets, considers incurable. Cancers, bone deformations. But instead of alerting the people that not all the knowledge is lost, they just buy time by talking any nonsense that everything was lost and blown up thousands of years ago, 
And while you figure out what is uh, going on, actually, the tribes will be completely exterminated, the tribes which keep the knowledge. The knowledge itself will not be completely lost. It will be lost for you only. It will be used by the black magicians who have created this dark paradigm for you to live in and keep you anchored over there. They will use it while at the same time they print textbooks for the children in school and tell them there is nothing like this. Magic is nonsense. It doesn't even exist. As these things crawl out from hell and enter our cities for war, on TV they call it spreading democracy, or also to spray peaceful citizens with chemical weapons, that sort of stuff, some people finally may get determined enough to wake up from all this nightmare. And that is actually very, very easy. All we need to do is just abandon the paradigm. The artificial reality created by the TV using the game of creating one lie, like the mainstream history, and then creating its opposition, like the ancient aliens, then creating the false illusion that these are the only two options. For those who wish to get out of the dark paradigm, the only initial requirement is to be humble enough and honest with oneself that I was stupid enough to believe in so many lies. After that, you will have to find yourself what are exactly the lies that you believe in. Don't wait for some perfect external source which will tell you all the truths. Not because such sources don't exist, but because blind people cannot recognize them and they may get stuck for many years before they finally discover that the path that they have been pursuing is partially contaminated. There are also few practical points which are like basics. First of all, those who watch TV every day or even lots of um, entertainment movies such people will never manage to leave this paradigm. For example, the so-called events reported in the mainstream news, many of them simply did not happen or they happened but they were staged and they were covered in such a way that the bad people are presented as the good and vice versa. So if you just uh, hear these things, you think it's okay because you don't accept their interpretations, but with the very events you are being deceived and that's how you are anchored in this paradigm of the cockroach technology. Or let's say you don't even care about news, but you watch a lot of movies. That will also keep you steadily anchored in the parasitic reality because 99% of the characters that you see in the movies are anchored in it, even the so-called good ones. Their behavior patterns get imprinted in your consciousness and when real situations arise, you will apply those patterns. For example, many of the so-called good heroes in the modern movies are often depicted fighting. Even the good guys are often depicted with many scenes of ghastly violence. This creates an association of good guy and ghastly violence. These things are often seen together. And after many years of watching within the mind of a viewer, these two things have become connected and he will apply this connection when he acts, even though he thinks he is the good guy. And this is just one of the numerous supporting pillars of this paradigm of the cockroaches. There are many other pillars that you have to remove yourself and once you break them all, the paradigm will disappear. The nasty creatures will go elsewhere to sniff for people who accept their paradigm, you won't be interesting for them because you will not play their game anymore. Another very practical rule is that don't think that you can escape the cockroaches if you drink alcohol daily or regularly. There is no way. They introduced the excessive alcohol consumption in the human society.
It's an absolutely magical substance. Brutality, dishonesty, arrogance, along with perfect excuses for them, magically appear in the minds of those who embrace alcohol. One of the excuses is even historic. Many people believe that alcohol has been consumed excessively in history as it is now. I'm not so sure about that at all. At the moment, 10% of the children below the age of 12 drink regularly. This statistic is taken from Germany. I don't know if it is local or global, but I can tell you what is the reaction of all those well-paid social organizations which are supposed to educate people in terms of what is good for them to eat and drink. So what these organizations do is stand by, watch, do absolutely nothing about the alarming rate at which alcoholism spreads and thus undermines society, while running ridiculous campaigns like, for example, demonizing wild fruits, don't eat them, they campaign, they are dangerous, wild cherries are dangerous. Why? Because if you eat a bucket of their stones and chew them well, you may get maybe some sort of poisoning. <laughs> and what is more funny is that even people fall for it. Because wild cherries are poisonous, that's with big letter the title, then there is a long scientifically looking article explaining how horrible it is to get poisoned with that particular substance and only towards the end is a slight mention that you have to eat a bucket of stones to actually ingest enough of, of the substance and who, who reads towards the end of these articles people just uh, get the wrong impression wild fruits are poisonous and if we feel trapped in all this against our will, this is again a pillar of the paradigm of lies. Because only if we wish, we can get very easily rid of this paradigm simply exercising our right to vote. Don't fall for their lies again. They will give you an illusory choice of a couple of corrupt politicians and then created the impression that well they are all like this no that is the biggest lie they are not all like this here in this video i discuss uh, the practical side of voting and i open the thread about this topic on the new earth forum where hopefully we can gather specific country level information which could be hopefully useful, especially for people who are not much into politics, like me. Elections do come up regularly, and maybe we can manage together to compile a resource which lists the parties and candidates, which offer practical remedies for removing the parasitic rule instead of empty promises like Let's make our country great again! Great! But great for whom? Apparently not for the regular citizens. And this is the Angel Wings channel, my second channel which I just opened. Why did I do so? Because uh, some people ask me to make more videos, others ask me to improve the quality of the videos and um, it's impossible to do both of them together. At least with only one channel. But now with the Angel Wings channel the situation will change. Because um, over there first of all I will uh, have much wider variety of topics. Not just history. And also the videos here on Angel Wings. They won't have uh, that many images and uh, that much video work to do and I will be able to produce them faster while on the old New Art channel I will continue with videos uh, mainly about history and spirituality while keeping the higher video production quality which um, I think I have achieved lately at least in comparison to the videos that I used to make two or three years ago. Listen. 
do lado das alturas eu vim e aqui estou descendo lá das alturas eu vim e aqui Esclareço Trago a luz Do meu Senhor Quando eu chego Tudo esclareço Trago a luz Do meu Senhor Eu vim aqui Para Verdade dissipador, eu vim aqui para mostrar que a verdade dissipador estou mostrando, preste atenção, foi o Estou mostrando, preste atenção, foi o medo que te cegou. Se vem balanço, tome firmeza, confia só. Se vem balanço, tome firmeza, confia só no amor. Se for preciso, faça limpeza e veja o beija-flor. Se for preciso, faça limpeza. Even